In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a wonderful productivity tool of a Mac that is called Mission Control. So what is Mission Control? Well, what this feature allows you to do is it allows you to create spaces in which you can go ahead and assign to different apps. So for instance, let's say that you wanted one space or one screen to be only Safari. You can do that. And let's say that you wanted another screen to be a finder window or another screen to be a Word document or a presentation or what have you. You can actually create up to 16 different spaces. As I move throughout this video, the benefit of spaces will become more apparent. So the first thing I need to talk about is how to open up Mission Control. There are a variety of ways to do this. If you're using an Apple keyboard, F3 will open up Mission Control. And that's what Mission Control looks like, or sometimes called Spaces. And as you can see, I have one space, in this case one desktop, currently opened up. To go ahead and close Mission Control, you can just simply go ahead and click on one of the actual spaces, in this case, my desktop. And as you can see, Mission Control has closed. Another way to open up Mission Control is to use a trackpad. And on your trackpad, use three or four fingers and simply go ahead and put those fingers on your trackpad and swipe up. And once again, Mission Control becomes visible. And like before, I just click on an actual space or desktop in this case, and that becomes the dominant space. Another way to go ahead and open up Mission Control is to use a keyboard shortcut of Control plus the up key. And as you can see, Mission Control has been opened up once again. So now that we know how to open up Mission Control, let's go ahead and actually open up an app on this desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari. And as you can see, the Apple web page is showing. If I go back to Mission Control, you can see that currently this desktop has my Safari app open up. If I want to go ahead and open up another desktop or another space, if you will, if I hover my mouse to the right, you'll see there's a little plus here. If I click on the plus, a new desktop or space will open up. And you can see desktop number one has the Safari app. Desktop number two has nothing on it. In fact, if I click on the desktop number two thumbnail, desktop number two will open up. And as you can see, Safari is not on desktop number two. For this example, however, let's go ahead and open up a finder window. And once again, if I go ahead and open up Mission Control, I will see I have desktop one and desktop two. Desktop two has my finder window. And if I click on the desktop one thumbnail, I'm now brought back to Safari. Another way to navigate through these actual desktop spaces, if you will, is that once again to use your trackpad. And with three or four fingers, if you swipe on your trackpad to the, either the left or the right, you'll be able to go back and forth between these desktops. Or another way to do this is to use a keyboard shortcut. Once again, the control key is the main key in this feature. And if I press control, and the right key, I move to the space directly to the right. And if I press the control key and the left key, I move to the space to the left, as you can see. Again, the control key is very important to mission control. Control up will open up mission control. Control right will move to the space to the right. Control left will move to the space to the left. And once again, you have the option to actually create up to 16 different spaces, which is a great feature. In addition, a lot of the windows that are utilized by Apple allow you to go full screen, and Safari is one of them. In a previous video, I talked about using these windows to go full screen. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and make Safari go full screen by clicking on the opposing arrow in the upper right corner of the window. And when I do this, Safari has now gone full screen. 
However, if I take a closer look at this and actually open up Mission Control, you will see that when an app goes full screen, it's actually put on its own desktop or its own space, if you will. So now desktop number one is simply the desktop. The second space is Safari. And the third space has the Finder window open up. So if I click on the first space, desktop number one, it's just a desktop. Safari takes me to Safari. And desktop two will take me to the Finder window. And again, I can keep adding more and more spaces to this setup. I have found this to be most beneficial to separate working on professional tasks and having personal tasks running in the background, such as social media, email, calendar, so on and so forth. Again, Michigan Control makes my multitasking life a little bit easier.